Happy New Year, everyone! <coughs> now the flooding is going back down, I'm back into messing around with tech mode and thought I'd share something I'd discovered about a gizmo I got as a Christmas present called the Thermal Grizzly Wireview GPU. It looks like this. It's a small device with a screen on the front and a button on the side. It sits between your PCIe power cable and your GPU and displays the amount of power coming through the cables so you can check voltages and the like. Here you can see the input for PCIe power and the output to your card. The packaging is refreshingly small. It comes in this little padded box which in turn comes in this sealed bag which tells you on the front which variant you have. You can see I have the 8-pin reversed version. If we look on the Thermal Grizzly webpage, we can see this doohickey comes in a variety of different configurations. Single 8-pin, dual 8-pin, triple 8-pin, 12-pin, and a 12 to triple 8-pin. Now, Depending on the orientation of the power connector on your card, you can get all of these where the connection sockets are reversed. In the normal orientation, the retaining clip of the connector points away from the PCB of the graphics card. In the rotated orientation, the connector's retaining clip points towards the PCB. So as you can see here, the difference between normal and reversed is that the bit that plugs into your GPU is either this way around or this way. It works a lot like one of those 180 degree cable tidies you can get from Amazon where you can route the cables over the back of the card to keep it looking tidier, but with a screen on the front so you can get info on power draw. Anyway, the problem is that the smallest pin combination is 8 pins. What if you have a 6 pin card like this GTX 950 or an older AGP card like an HD 3850? It just won't work probably because of this filled gap here. It's okay though, as there's a workaround. As PCI power is delivered on a power cable which has two pins that can be split off, I figured you could plug that into the wire view, then use a six pin extension out of it into the power connector of the graphics card. So I went onto Amazon and ordered a 10 pound eight pin extension with a six and two split at the end. There we are, 8-pin female to come off the wire view and 6-pin to go into an older GPU. You plug the 8-pin female end into the male end of the wire view. The PCIe cable from your power supply into the female wire view socket. And the end of the extension into the GPU. You can cycle through various modes and holding the button longer will come up with masses of other options. This 1650 is only drawing this little power as it's only showing BIOS info from a socket 775 setup. I can see it being used to check power distribution when setting up a system for testing, for example, and if you had the toys to do it, you could probably 3D print a housing to have it in the window of your case or something. I honestly don't know how often I'm going to use it, but I wondered if along with all the fancy new cards out there, maybe it could be used on older graphics cards as well. And it can. Right, I think that's a nice short one to enter into the new year, and I will come back with something a bit longer and more interesting. Okay, bye-bye.